when we are out there in the dark we'll dream about the sun in the dark we'll seek the light warms our hearts everyone if we hold on together i know our dreams will never die dreams see us through to forever as high as souls will fly the clouds roll by for you and I. Hi everyone, Jennifer here, back with another edition of TV Talk. It's Monday, and that means it's Gargoyles Day. And this week's episode was Her Brother's Keeper. After helping Elisa prevent Jekyll and Hyena from stealing a gemstone from Xanatos, he invites Derek to become part of his staff as his new pilot and bodyguard. However, Elisa believes that Xanatos has ulterior motives. Meanwhile, Jekyll and Hyena begin to plan another attack on Thanatos. Okay, things I liked about this episode. Honestly, there really wasn't a lot I liked about this episode. Um, I mean, it was good in the fact that it's kind of setting up where Derek, um, Elisa's brother, is going to be in season two, which will be very important in season two. Um, and it does kind of set up where Jekyll and Hyena are going to be when we see them again in season two. But other than that, there's really not a lot. that I really like about it. This is really the second to last episode of season one. So they're really trying to set up where everyone's going to be in season two, um, basically. Uh, one of the things I did like about this episode, um, but it was really something that I didn't put in here because I didn't feel it was important, but I do want to mention it, is that this is the first time that we see um, rivalry springing up between Brooklyn, Lexington, and Broadway. It's not going to be the last time. It's going to happen at least two more times um, in season two. Um, possibly another time in season three. I don't know. I have I can't remember all the episodes of season three. Um, but this is the first time we actually see it pop up. And it starts over a video game that Elisa gives to them. And um, basically just reminds me of something very typical of siblings. I mean, Elisa gave them a game to share and play with while they're in the clock tower and whatnot. And, you know, they each, um, Lexington's playing it and, of course, Brooklyn and Broadway both want to turn, or Brooklyn wants to turn, but, you know, Lexington doesn't want to give it up. It's kind of... The whole sibling rivalry thing, which I kind of like because up until this point, we don't see any sibling rivalry between the three. Um, we see them get along actually fairly well. So when the writers introduced, introduced something like this, um, which kind of throws the balance or how we perceive them off a little bit, I like that. I like the character flaws that they put into the characters, um, and particularly with the hero characters. Um, it just, to me, it makes them more relatable. Um, 
in the fact, you know, I have, I have a sister, and when we were kids, we would fight over a lot of stuff. There was a lot of sibling rivalry, and I'm sure um, any sibling out there is, would agree with me that it's hard to not have a sibling and not have some kind of rivalry, even if it's like a good humor rivalry, it's going to happen. Um, so I did like that they put that in there. Okay, flip side of the coin, things I didn't like about this episode. Again, there was nothing I didn't like about this episode. This is not an episode I absolutely hated, but it wasn't one I really liked either. It's kind of a middle ground episode. Um, again, it shows where certain characters are going to, or it sets up where certain characters are going to be in season two when we see them again. Uh, again, this is the second to last episode of season one. Um, the next video will be on the season one finale. Um, but again, this was, um, it wasn't, I'm not going to say it was a bad episode. It just, for me, it really didn't do anything. Uh, just really, again, and you're probably tired of hearing this because I've said it like twice already, set up where um, certain aspects of season two are going to be. Um, and that's really all it did. Okay, feel free to leave your comments and questions in the comment section. I do love to read those. Please like and share this video if you're watching on Facebook or like and subscribe if you haven't already if you're watching on YouTube. And feel free to follow me on Wattpad, Tumblr, Instagram, Twitter, and DeviantArt. I do have my name for the, those five sites right there on the screen as well as the pictures I use for the icons. Please note that all pictures seen within this video do belong to their respected artists. I own absolutely nothing. The links for the five sites I mentioned will be in the description section if that makes it any easier for you guys to find my pages on those sites. And for those of you watching on Facebook, the link for my YouTube channel will be in the description section. And for those of you watching on YouTube, the link for my Facebook page will be in the description section. Okay, quick reminder on my comment rules. Okay, feel free to check out my other Gargoyles TV Talk videos. My other TV Talk videos. And my other videos. Okay, before I sign off, a few things I'd like to touch on. <coughs> Sorry for all the coughing. Um, I am fighting a little bit of a um, cold. First off, and this is for my YouTube subscribers, any of my videos that are not on YouTube are on my Facebook page. You can feel free to check them out there. Again, the link is in the description section. 
Uh, this one is from my Facebook friend. Any of my videos that are not on Facebook are on my YouTube channel. Again, the link is in the description section. Lastly, I would like to apologize for not posting a video last week. Unfortunately, things were just a little bit crazy for me, and I just did not have time. Uh, I do apologize for that. Uh, unfortunately, this does happen. Um, and all I can say is I'm sorry. As always, thank you for watching, and have a very nice day.